Drill instructor or drill sergeant? Depends who you ask. Let's go. Left hand side. Why is it tied to another bag? Get your headgear off, man. Go, go. Can go. we move any slower? You don't wear headgear inside. Some of you <laughs> aren't even making it past five. Go. Get off the. You know, it's been a long time, but headgear, when you're a Marine, used to hearing cover. Just that little stuff is funny. I'm sure the Army guy's thinking, Marine says, I'm going to make a head call or put my cover on. It's funny. So it's the kind of stuff that makes it uh, fun to mess with each other about. Oh, you got to move faster than that. In the back. Get their laundry bag up. Hug it. It's the last thing I'm going to hug for a while. From day one <laughs> that we get these guys. Bunks, go! Teaching them how to make their beds because some of them never even made a bed in their life. You guys have what? That's a good one. Rack versus bed. I don't know how the military came up with different terms, but I guess that's what it is, right? Bunks. Racks. There's no more beds. Telling them when to shower. Stand up straight. When to brush their teeth. Go utilize the latrine. How to tie their boots. Suck that gut in. How to wear their uniforms properly. That is the seam in your pants. Some of these guys have just never had that direct guidance or mentorship. Because that's why you are here. To become disciplined. How come everybody else has their duffel bag? Here's a good one for you guys. Irish pendants. Look that one up. It's like a little piece of string or something hanging off your uniform you're supposed to cut off in the Marines. Only place I ever heard that. In their arms and you're just letting it hang. Well, sorry, Kelly. Got a blue suitcase. Thought he was going on vacation. You were going to be my right guide. You're going to fall in on this corner right here. Do you understand? Let's go. Put your bag down. Is this your bunk? Is this your rack? I want my own platoon in here in about a minute. They know. Oh, well, drill sergeant's just here yelling at me. No, that's not what it is. We're, we're here. Now, I did not put this background music in, but <laughs> the drill sergeants in this video seem much more polite than drill instructors. Now, Marine Corps drill instructors do have a lot of histrionics that I don't know if it's necessary, but it's what it is, right? Any of you guys experience any great spaz fest by your di's put that in the comments that's okay i've got weeks on weeks to work with you guys be that professional i will get you straight be that mentor that these guys look up to and one day that they want to be what are you crying about nothing drill sergeant get over here cry baby <laughs> now yes drill sergeant get over here Right here. Get your hands off of me. Stand here and face me. Now I'm a serving drill sergeant. Stand right here and face me. Listen, we're going to do this the easy way. You understand? No formalities. No special instructions. You're just going to go! Oh. <laughs> Any of you guys ever do repelling? It's pretty fun, but a lot of guys just get freaked out. If you just go, right? They tell you what to do, you go, you're fine. But if you look down, I don't care who you are, it makes for a harder time. Left hand guide hand, lose grip. Right hand break hand. Left hand guide hand, lose grip. Right hand break hand, death grip. Next, all fours, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. All of your back. Hey, Face me. Oh, you ready? I'm going to push you off if you don't do this. Fall <laughs> the heels on the edge of your tower. Hold on tight here, tight there. Look down. It's a belay. Make eye contact. Make sure somebody down there doing their job. Just say lane three on repel. Lane three on repel. And if you do it like he just did, you're going to bounce down the wall. So you got to lean back, which is counterintuitive to your body because you're leaning back. You can't see. You look over your shoulder. Put in the comments your experience doing repel. A lot of funny guys to watch doing it when they don't listen. They bounce down off the wall or are just freaked out. You want some of this? You got a problem? This guy. You got to think about it because you might have a problem. Huh? Yes, sir, Sergeant. You have, you have a problem. That's what you're telling me. You want to handle it? Yes, sir, Sergeant. I want to handle it. Let's go. Yes, sir. Handle your problem. Right. <laughs> with me, sir. Sir, that looks like a damn officer to you. Don't look at me. Some of these recruits in the Marine Corps, and especially this kid, they look so doughboy. Hopefully they come out and don't look like a little Pillsbury doughboy fat boy when they get done. Close your dad come out. So what's your problem? Oh, God. Oh. Hello. Hello. 
Oh, <laughs> response. How about? It's the bite. same guy. Overbite. It's the same. Your palm is your overbite. So you're sitting here smiling, huh? Well, you should have told your parents to buy you some braces same a long guy. time ago. Same guy. Barracks without the S. With your thumbs. Your name right with this place where you get ready to stare, bro. You do meet some guys that have some weird speech impediments or weird dialect. You know, say they're from the South or they're from Boston. And they're going to find something to pick on you about regardless. But it's pretty funny when the DI just go off on a guy, as long as it's not you, right? Do you guys ever have that where a DI just went off on you for something too big, too tall, too dumb? Put that in the comments. So he belongs to me. We're going to fix you. Now that looks right. See that squad bay? How it's a wreck? These guys just got picked up. They're pulling their gear out of their sea bag. But they'll take the squad bay and just when you get your foot lockers and throw stuff everywhere. It'll be strewn throughout the whole place. And it'll be like, get your gear now. So you guys that have been in, did you ever find all your gear when they threw it around? Like you get a size 13 boot and a size 8 boot? I remember having to square that up at night because your gear, you'd be missing something, shoe polish, you name it. Now that's right. So these two DEIs just wearing this guy out. They can go from zero to total spazzes fast. I don't know how they do it. And I had friends that were DEIs and I'd ask them and they just said they hearkened back to when they were in boot camp. And that's how they got the spaz on. And they will scream and yell and get their fingers so close to your face, like within a millimeter. And you wonder how they don't poke you more. And then they'll take their cover and it'll whack up against your head. And you didn't realize how much a cover could hurt until it whacks up against your head. <laughs> you want to read Proverbs? This is scared of heights right here. I know he's scared of heights. I know he's scared of heights. Not only that, I'm going to take a wild guess on what you shot on the ring. The other side. Pizza. So a pizza box, so you got different levels of shooter qualification. You had expert, sharpshooter, marksman. So a pizza box is what they call it when you're a marksman. You know, you're qualified, but it's not something you're proud of. You know, expert's what you want. Did you? <laughs> yes, sir. Imagine that. I'm just going to sit in real quick, do you understand? Yes, sir! As soon as you get on that plane, and you're on your way to Afghanistan, you understand? Yes, sir! Let's do Dirty weapon! Aye, sir! So when are you drilling inside? So if you're at Paris Island, they have these black flag days, which means it's too hot. They take you inside the squad bay, or when they're marching you to the child, they take you in the woods. And you guys ever have that where they black flag days, they hide you out and wear you out somewhere? And it can be worse in the squad bay than it can be on a regular day because they'll find all sorts of crazy shit to do, whether it be scuzz brush races, if I can say that, scuzz brush races, or fill in the blank, they'll find something fun for you. And that's pretty typical. This was in another video, and somebody asked me, are they really this hysterical? And they are. I don't know. If it serves a purpose, I guess it does build up a callus in your brain to stress reactions. I think Marines come out of boot camp, even if they're an admin guy, probably the most fit to go on to, say, infantry training. Now, if you go on to something else, doesn't matter, right? But you come out after 13 and a half weeks, pretty hard and confident in yourself i can tell you that much and that's coming from army guys i bet now you army guys put in the comments what you think of marine corps boot camp and let it rip and they talk like a frog after a while i think it's just from yelling their voice it's totally shot. Their vocal cords are wrecked. Get over the 
Park. Get over the park. Play of this. Yeah, play of this. Oh, that's so shit. Oh, that's so shit. I know. Go, sir, right now. I'll go, sir. I'll go, sister. I'll go, sir. There we go. And when they get on you like that, for you guys that are going in, you guys have been in comment, when they get on you like that, there's nothing you can do to fix it. It just, I sir, yes sir, no sir. Do the thing because it's going to happen and it's not going to stop. And if they find you, get you react to it. It's like a girlfriend. They're going to keep pushing that button until it breaks you, right? Now they will. They call it like parting the black sea right so if they're coming through and you're in the platoon you just have to move and god forbid you run into one in like the stairwell or something they will toss you i mean they won't grab you per se but you will get you'll go flying somewhere you know they've got a way of doing it so you fell right So you got to request permission to speak first, and they'll say, speak, freak. And then you got to request permission to make a head call. So you'll say, sir, this recruit so-and-so requests permission to speak. Speak, freak. Sir, this recruit so-and-so requests permission to make a head call. Sir, no, try again. And when you're new, you can't get all that crap right, so you screw it up all the time. Yeah, try it. You're going to tell me what you freaking need. I need. I'm here for your goddamn needs, right? I need. Right. Sir, we're back on the block. We're trying to get. We're One, four, three. All right. All right, so these are scuzz brushes, right? This is how you sweep the floor. So you start at the, the bulkhead or the wall, right? And you just keep sweeping to the middle. And then a guy gets there with the broom and cleans it up. But that is some of the best exercise. And so you're duck walking the whole time, cleaning the floor, and you have to do it in a line. So it serves a lot of purposes. You know, stay on line, get you in shape. It's torture. They have races. You can imagine the games that go on and on and on with that deal. Brings back memories. New to the channel, thanks for stopping by. For my subscribers, I appreciate you. Thanks for watching.